Good morning to some, good evening to others, and welcome, Cardigan community, to the 74th commencement exercises of Cardigan Mountain School. As you were aware, today's ceremony will be unique in Cardigan's history. Despite the fact that we cannot experience this moment physically side by side, we are virtually side by side, seeing, hearing, and feeling the same things at the same time literally all around the world. Through the hard work of parents, boys, faculty, and staff, we have prepared speeches, photos, and videos that incorporate as many of the elements of our traditional on-campus commencement as possible in today's online program. And today, we can assure you that weather will not be an issue and the program will not be long. Cardigan has been a special place for me because it provided me relationships that I will carry forever. My brothers at Cardigan will look out for me, and I will always look out for them. We will care for each other like family, because we are a family. So, I would encourage underclassmen watching this to reach out to the seniors and tell them how much they meant to this community. I would encourage parents watching this Tell your son how proud of him you are. Finally, I would encourage my fellow graduates to say thank you to people that made this adventure possible. We may not be physically together, but trust that all your classmates, parents, faculty, and friends are experiencing this joy and the sadness at the exact same time as you are. Thank you. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome, Cardigan friends. I invite you all now to join me in prayer or silent reflection. You may bow your heads if you wish. Father God, we thank you for the successful completion of another academic year. Thank you for your guidance and your wisdom during this time of uncertainty. We are so grateful to have had the opportunity to play a part in the lives of these remarkable young men. It is not hyperbole to say that we have learned as much from their unshakable optimism and resilience as they have from us. As we gather here from compass points around the globe, unite us as one body as we celebrate the many accomplishments of the class of 2020. Amen. Good morning and welcome, one and all, to Cardigan Mountain School's 74th Commencement Exercises. It's a beautiful day in New Hampshire, and I hope it is wherever you are. All participating in this ceremony have likely heard that quote, it's a beautiful day in New Hampshire, several times before. It was coined by longtime headmaster Norm Wakeley. He had a way of seeing the beauty in every day especially on the campus of our beloved Cardigan Mountain School. As I reflect on that exclamation, however, I think of several things. First, having lived much of my life in the Granite State, I know, and I'm not alone, that the weather in this region changes with alarming frequency. The old adage, if you don't like the weather in New England, just wait a minute, certainly applies, way more often than not. Sometimes November feels like June, and April feels like February, especially when right when we're about to get ready to get onto our fields and play. But it's a beautiful day in New Hampshire is not a weather report. I believe it is a conscious outlook on life, a state of mind. Its lineage derives from the flinty, unyielding, and often stubborn toughness of the people in, in this region, mirroring the rocky and hard scrabble land we inhabit. Farmers in New England and in New Hampshire didn't give up when they found big rocks populating their soil. They just built lots of stone walls. Likewise, Cardigan boys don't choose to only plunge into Canaan Street Lake on sunny and warm mornings in the spring. They go rain or shine, snow and wind, through storm or weather fair. You see, it's a beautiful day in New Hampshire suggests that no matter the weather on the outside, inside all of us, resides the commitment and drive, as well as the warmth and sunshine of love and affection for one another, our community, and our school. 
That devotion is earned, especially for those ninth grade boys and their families for whom this day represents an unanticipated and unusual transition. Your feelings of pride, disappointment, joy, nervousness, loss, and possibility are perhaps more pronounced than they would likely be were we all sitting under the tent together. It is, therefore, altogether fitting for me to say to you, wherever you are, and with that qualification, it is indeed a beautiful day in New Hampshire and at Cardigan Mountain School. Typically, folks travel from near and far, from just up the street to all corners of the globe to be here today. Parents, grandparents, and siblings of our graduates, alumni, trustees, and so many more friends of Cardigan, I want all of us to know, as we experience this ceremony today, that those people are here with us, all of them. Because, like the beautiful day in New Hampshire phrase, the meaning of this day goes well beyond the handshakes and hugs. We are all here to salute the growth and accomplishment of you, our treasured boys as you take an important step in your lives. We are alone in this together. And I know I speak for all the families and friends when I say that we wouldn't miss this for the world. Even though you are all experiencing this in different places and separated from one another, I know that you have all earned the bond of brotherhood that cannot be eclipsed by the typical forces of nature. This supernatural connection is what binds you in ways that you can't quite explain. And it will keep you and pull you together in the future like a magnet. My advice, gentlemen, don't try to resist it. Not everyone in this world has the privilege of such a community. Don't ever take it for granted. To the young men of the class of 2020, I offer my heartfelt and sincere congratulations and thanks. This has been an extraordinary year by any measure, and Cardigan has been led by you throughout. From the sneaker game on the first day of drop-off until this day, whatever has come your way, and there has been a lot, you have adapted yourselves to the uniqueness of the opportunities and challenges, and have led with empathy, compassion, and a deep and abiding love for each other and for this fortunate community. Your example of honest and thoughtful leadership and your clear commitment to making Cardigan a better school have been noticed and will be the topic of conversations here for a very long time. I can't thank you enough for leading us all. Whether you were here for one year or four, you have both contributed to and benefited from Cardigan in myriad ways. You arrived as athletes and became artists. You were a math whiz who learned the beauty of expressing yourself creatively in writing. You are a future NHL hockey player who discovered the hard and valuable lessons of being a role player on the JV soccer team in the fall. You drove up from Melrose, Massachusetts and met your roommate from Bangkok, Thailand. In very little time, you discovered that you had and have way more that connects you than divides or separates you. You have blossomed academically and especially intellectually. In every way, you have learned that your universe is more complicated, yet in some ways simpler than you might have thought. You've learned how to better manage your time, organize yourselves and your work, and achieve your best in classes. You've also learned the value of curiosity and inventiveness. As evidenced this spring, your capacity to overcome obstacles and thrive has seen accelerated growth. We can all see that you have physically developed into sturdier young, young men. What is harder to notice is your maturation and the priceless development of your character. Like the pants that begin to reveal more ankle, or the dress shirt that won't button up at the top anymore, we have witnessed the subtle but powerful expansion of your inner growth as well. Ultimately, you will leave Cardigan, I hope, with more questions than answers, but with a toolbox bursting with all that you need to take on any project that comes your way in the future. In any year or set of circumstances, there is no one way to grow and succeed at Cardigan, but this year is far from any year. Boys, your parents and teachers may have told you this in the last couple of months, but you, all of us actually, are living through one of the most extraordinary times in human history. 
This health, social, and economic, ec economic crisis is affecting every person on this planet, every community, every government, and economic system. Like the falling rain, it does not care who or what it lands on. And that has left many of us paralyzed with the sense that we are not in control and cannot predict our futures the way we once thought we could. But if we at Cardigan have learned anything together, it is that every challenge must be viewed and embraced as an opportunity. You gentlemen, you are the generation who will sort out what the opportunities will be and where this path leads. In the big picture, we adults will follow your lead. What I and everyone in virtual attendance knows is that lead you will, lead you must, perhaps sooner than you had planned. I'm optimistic that you will lead with empathy and a defined and calculated risk, boldness, inclusivity, and I hope, humility. I know this because they, these are all traits and characteristics that you have learned and demonstrated during your time here on The Point. They will serve you well. They will serve all of us well. This year, I have marveled at the enterprise of so many of you with such unique ambitions. Our year has been made up of countless moments, the personal quiet moments and the public noisy ones. You'll take them all with you when you leave Cardigan, but they'll also remain here. They will always be here, waiting for you to return, and return you will. Boys, when your name is called and you cross this virtual stage and become Cardigan alumni in this beautiful day in New Hampshire, you will be joining a brotherhood that has been growing for 74 years. Your brothers, both present and past, are here with you now, in this moment. They've been here all along, and they will be with you forever, through storm or weather fair. Thank you, and again, welcome, one and all. I now have the distinct privilege to introduce the chair of Cardigan's Board of Trustees, Mr. Jeremy Kriegler. Mr. Kriegler has served on the Cardigan Board since 2011. After graduating from Cardigan in 1979, Jeremy attended Milton Academy, then Tulane University as an undergrad, and later earned an MBA from Duke University. Jeremy has served as an investment professional at both Duke and Cornell University, and since 2008 as the Chief Investment Officer at Tulane University. In any headmaster's life and work, the relationship between the head and board chair is a special one. Jeremy was co-chair of the search committee that hired me, and he has become an invaluable resource for me as Cardigan's board chair. Jeremy is ultimately my boss and holds me accountable for my goals and the goals of Cardigan, but he's also my sounding board, thought partner, and confidant. I sometimes have to remind myself, especially this spring when it seems like he and I have spent more time on the phone or computer with one another than with our own families, that he is volunteering his time, as, all, as are all the members of Cardigan's Board of Trustees, and they're all watching today. All for the love of Cardigan. I am grateful for Jeremy's commitment and partnership. It's my pleasure to introduce the chair of Cardigan's Board of Trustees, Mr. Jeremy Krigler. Greetings, everyone. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Cardigan Mountain School, I'm honored to be part of this celebration where we recognize the many achievements of the class of 2020. The last three months have been difficult for all of us, each in our own way. The global pandemic caused by COVID-19 has forced us all to learn things we could not have dreamed of at the beginning of the school year. I mean, really, whom among us was worried about face masks and social distancing when you arrived on the point last September? And yet, here we are. I suspect all of you adjusted to this new world much faster than your parents have. I suspect a few of you did some binge watching of Tiger King, mastered the next level of Fortnite, and listened to more BTS than you should have. But along the way, you also managed to finish a science project or two, a few book reports, and some algebra. Most importantly, you took it upon yourself to do the work necessary to be part of this celebration. What I am most proud of the class of 2020 is that you stayed true to the cardigan spirit you learned on the point. Undeterred by distance, you showed up for Polar Bear Club. And a big shout out to Mr. Gray for that first snowy plunge. You participated in chapel service, dressed in the best chapel attire you had at home, at least from the waist up, 
You, showed, you shared with all of us your home classrooms from where you did your work. You all led this school when Cardigan needed you. And over the course of this entire year, a few of you distinguished yourselves in ways that will be recognized later in the ceremony. My point is that despite the changed world in which you find yourself today, you have achieved success. You are a member of the graduating class of 2020. But enough about you. This day is also a day to give thanks. To give thanks to the many people who made this journey so worthwhile. Your parents, your fellow classmates, and the incredible staff and faculty that are the Cardigan community. So above all, my fellow Cardigan alums say thank you because they all cared for you. You do nothing else today than thank your parents. Don't be afraid to give them a hug and a kiss and to shed a few tears, you won't melt. You will be surprised how good it feels to say thank you. Finally, I challenge the class of 2020, each and every one of you to return to campus next spring to hand out cardigan ties to the class of 2021. Much like the climbs up Mount Cardigan or the icy polar bear swims or singing happy, happy, happy birthday at meals to your classmates, the tie ceremony is a symbol of community and gratitude. I challenge you to be part of the alumni community that shows up each year to welcome the next class of Cardigan alums. It is my privilege today on behalf of the Board of Trustees at Cardigan Mountain School to bestow upon each of you your diploma and to wish you all great success. Thank you. And now I have the honor of presenting the commencement awards. While today is a day to celebrate all of our graduates, Cardigan does have a tradition of recognizing certain individuals through eight formal awards. The Caldwell Prize, is awarded to that senior who has shown outstanding athletic achievement and sportsmanship. The 2020 Caldwell Prize is awarded to Hee Jung. The Dewar Prize is awarded annually in honor of Dr. and Mrs. Cameron K. Dewar to the member of the senior class with the highest academic standing. The 2020 Dewar Prize is awarded to Diego Escalante. The Hinman Prize is given annually in memory of Mr. and Mrs. Harold P. Hinman to the senior who, in the opinion of the faculty, by industrious application to his studies, through his attitude on the playing field, and by his behavior and integrity, most nearly approaches the ideals of manhood as conceived in the minds of the founders of Cardigan Mountain School. The 2020 Hinman Prize is awarded to Bryce Terry. The Norman and Beverly Wakeley Prize is awarded by the class of 1989 to the senior who, in the opinion of his classmates, best upholds the tradition, spirit, and pride of Cardigan Mountain School, thus making every day a beautiful day in New Hampshire. The 2020 Norman and Beverly Wakeley Prize is awarded to Will Rassier. The Founders Prize is awarded to the senior who has the will to complete any project regardless of the difficulties encountered, without thought of personal gain, and whose objective is a job well done, in the same approach that characterized the life of Harold P. Hinman, one of the founders of Cardigan Mountain School. The Class of 2020 Founders Prize is awarded to Diego Escalante. The Panache Memorial Award is awarded annually by the class of 1959 as a memorial to Carl J. Panache, to that member of the senior class who, in the eyes of his fellow students, has achieved the best attained ideals of honesty, integrity, leadership, and general social and spiritual adjustment. The 2020 Panache Memorial Award recipient is Nate Johnson. The Skibiski Memorial Award is given as a memorial to Michael R. Skibiski, to that member of the senior class who has shown the greatest progress during his Cardigan Mountain School years. The recipient of the 2020 Skibiski Memorial Award is Jason Jung. The William Knapp Morrison Award is presented to the senior who, in the opinion of the students, best exemplifies the spirit of Willie Morrison, class of 1982, in academics, athletics, and as a campus citizen. 
This year's William Knapp Morrison Award goes to Bill K. In addition to our formal awards, this year we have three students who will be receiving the faculty prize. Awarded to the seniors who, in the opinion of the faculty, have made special contributions to Cardigan Mountain School. The recipients for the class of 2020 are Michael Brannan, Franklin Chow, and Connor Pollard. It's now my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce our all school leader, Bryce Terry. As well as being a wonderful table mate, Bryce has also led this community with an extraordinary measure of compassion, courage, integrity, respect, empathy, fun, good cheer, fellowship, good kick in the pants when we all need it, and a lot of other ways too. He is an extraordinary young man and one that we're very proud of. Ladies and gentlemen, the all school leader for Cardigan Mountain School, Mr. Bryce Terry. Cardigan Mountain School is not just a school. I truly believe in the saying, the people make the place. At Cardigan, it's the people that make this school so special to us. No, our school's community is not just made up of our teachers and students. Every single member in our community plays a different role and contributes to our overall success in a different way. This includes the dining hall and kitchen crew, the maintenance crew, the technology crew, our dorm parents, our teachers, the administration, our advisors. They dedicate their lives for us cardigan boys. Our teachers and advisors are always there for us around the clock if we need anything, any help, academically or in life. Our dorm parents who are also our teachers constantly act as parental figures for us boys in the dorm, ensuring that our safety and joy is always their number one priority. And the maintenance and kitchen crew dedicating their time to make our lives as Cardigan boys easier, healthier, and more enjoyable. Why? Why, so selflessly, do the members of our Cardigan community serve for us students? Because they care. Through my two years at Cardigan, I feel like the members of our community care more about us as students than they care about themselves. Staying 20 minutes after evening study hall while some teachers and advisors could be going back to their homes to see their kids and their families. They stay with us to make sure we as students can understand material and are improving different aspects in our lives. Having thoughtful and meaningful conversations with our dorm parents on a Sunday night about how time flies in life and you must savor every moment in your life. These little things, as I reflect on them, are big things. And these actions are not included in a Cardigan faculty member job description. They do these things. Why? Because they care. Because that is what a family does. Cardigan Mountain School is not just a school. It's not just a community. It is a family. This school is not just filled up of student athletes. Our family is filled with brothers. Importantly, brothers that care for one another, are willing to help each other, are willing to put aside our differences in life and help the other fella to strengthen our weaknesses in life. Brothers that serve for one another. The bond I share with my Cardigan brothers is like no other, a bond that can never be torn apart. These little things in our lives add up. There is no rule in our Cardigan handbook which states that we must say hi and check in to each other on the paths with our community members as we cross each other. There is no rule in the Cardigan handbook which states that a student when a student is done with their work, that they help the classmate next to them. We, as a community, do this because we care. Because we love each other. That's what families do. Cardigan is a special place full of special people. I challenge our community to express gratitude for these people. Show appreciation for the people that were there for you every step of the way here on The Point. The people that put you in front of themselves. The people that did the little things and big things in our community, not for themselves, but for our greater Cardigan family. Full of pride, appreciation, and strong passion, I say thank you. Lifting while you climb, helping the other fella, be the best, 
The core values of respect, courage, compassion, and integrity have been engraved into our hearts throughout our time as students here. With this being said, however, I believe that failure in life is the most important thing we have learned here. Cardigan forces us as students to step outside our comfort zones with courage and try new things we have never done before. We have struggled throughout our time here. We have failed. We get back up, create plans and goals in which we need to succeed to be better the second time, to succeed. There are plenty of resources and people on campus in which you, as a student, can go to advocating for yourself, and they will be there for you in your life. However, they will not hold your hand every step of the way. There will be no growth that way. Growth starts from the bottom. It starts from failure. Cardigan has showed me how to respond to failure and how to respond to struggle in life, how to grow and how to be a better person because of failure, difficult times, and struggles. Cardigan provided the perfect balance between independence, self-advocacy, and assistance for all the boys. To my Cardigan brothers, both the graduating class this year and all underclassmen who still have the opportunity to live another day on the point, I want to leave you with this. What if today was your last day? When we are born, there is no expiration date on our lives. Nobody on this earth has the opportunity to know when their time is up. Maybe if we did know this, we would live our lives differently. Live your life differently. Rather than just going along with the flow and existing, we might live life to an absolute full potential if we knew this. Maybe we would do more, give more, learn more, serve more. Maybe we would go after our dreams with more intensity, more passion, more drive. There's nothing to hold back. Think to yourself right now, are you holding anything back? What are you holding back? Can you give more? Today, when your body is telling you to take it easy, or if your body is telling you to take a shortcut in life, tell your body, not today, not tomorrow. Today is different. Tomorrow is different. Next week is different. Live life differently. If you live your life relying on a plan B, you will often fall back on your plan B. Live life without a plan B. In life, you want to be different. You must move different. I'll say that one more time. If you want different in life, you must move different in life. Accomplish your dreams, boys. You can and you will. In fact, exceed your dreams. Exceed your goals in life. Live without negativity or haters in life fueling your fire. Your purpose is your fire. Your dreams are your fire. Your goals are your fire. Cardigan sparked and lit a fire underneath every one of us. Sacrifice now, enjoy later. Push hard now, relax later. Don't use an alarm clock in life. Have your goals wake you. Have your desire wake you. Have your purpose wake you. Have your fire wake you. Live your life with no limits, no boundaries, and no doubts. The world is your playground, boys, and you only get one shot. As Mr. Winnick taught me in life, what's not to lose? Take the values and lessons we learned here at Cardigan and carry them with you for the rest of your life. Live life differently. I hope you have learned from me because I have learned from you, every single member in our Cardigan family. Thank you. Thank you, Bryce, both for your thoughtful reflections this morning and for your amazing leadership this year. We are all so incredibly grateful and proud of you and your service to this community. It is now my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce this year's commencement speaker, Mario Zambrano. A 1995 graduate of Cardigan Mountain School, Mario Zambrano is truly a Renaissance man and citizen of the world. A native of Monterrey, Mexico, Mario was the first of many in his extended family to attend Cardigan, and not the last, hopefully. After graduating from Cardigan, Mario returned to Mexico to attend high school. He completed his final year of high school in Germany, and then studied mechanical engineering at Munich Technical University. 
Desiring a future in the aerospace industry, Mario completed his Bachelor of Science in Aerospace Engineering at the University of Texas at Austin in 2007. Mr. Zambrano is currently the owner and chief executive officer of the highly successful CMIT Solutions, a CIO outsourcing company based in Austin. Mario also manages international family businesses in both energy and food supply and regularly travels between the cities of Austin and his home, Monterey. To get a peek into the real passion of our commencement speaker, Mario doesn't drive the 400 miles between the two cities. He flies himself in his 1945 Boeing Stearman. Folks, look it up on Google. It's a biplane. I can see Mario now, and I see him wearing a leather helmet and goggles with his scarf streaming behind him in his open air cockpit. Mario is a true son of Cardigan and is precisely the kind of man we want our graduates to become. He is kind, adventuresome, goal oriented, and in the best sense of the term, Mario is always reaching for goals, never resting on laurels. Full of energy, full of life, and eternally optimistic. My first meeting with Mario was in an outdoor cafe in Austin. We ate and talked for over an hour, and by the end of that visit, I knew that I had added a new friend who would make my life better by his very presence and companionship. Mario is one of those special people who see and experience life through a refreshing lens, the lens of hope, of optimism, of humor, and of love. He's an energy giver, and I'm so pleased and proud that he agreed to speak to you, our energy giving class of 2020. When I called to tell him that we were necessarily modifying commencement this year, I worried that he would be disappointed. I know he was and is, as we all are, but the first thing he said to me was, well, now my whole extended family can attend. In Mario's world, the glass is always way more than half full. Ladies, gentlemen, and the great class of 2020, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce a true son of Cardigan, Mario Zambrano. Wow, what a crowd. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I want to first of all thank our head of school, Chris Day, for the invitation today. Also thank the Board of Trustees, led by our chairman, Jeremy Krieger, for your support and energy dedicated to our vision. To our teachers and parents, thank you for making this day, this day possible. And special thanks to our students who are Cardigan, wherever you are. It is a beautiful day in New Hampshire. Well, it is actually Hacienda El Refugio in Coahuila, Mexico today, but you get the drill. We're simulating. Thank you for coming today in this virtual way from every corner of the world to our very own home in Canaan, New Hampshire. I stand here today on the shoulder of giants. Not only the giants that have given this commitment speech in years prior, but the giants that crafted me to be here today. Also the giants that are here today, that were there when I graduated from Cardigan, the parents and teachers who give us that extra height to see a little bit farther. Like my grandfather Roberto said, try to say it better. This will be my pursuit. It has been 25 years since I graduated Cardigan. I also sat there in front of a speaker. I don't remember what was said, but I do remember that he changed me. Probably my subconscious knows better, and I learned a thing or two that day. But I do remember clearly that day, day, that day I wanted to be here, up here, talking to you. So this speech has been in the works for 25 years. Then this coronavirus came along and I had to rewrite it in a week. So I don't expect you to remember much in 25 years, but if you do want to give a speech, right now will be a good time to start writing it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me first address something, the state, something easy, the state of the world. I feel that we are sitting in a continental divide where we either become better or worse. 
for the first time, we see the entire world united in a solution of peace against an invisible enemy. For the first time in our short history as a species, there are no borders, no races, no sexes, no hierarchical state that will protect us against our enemy. The world is united in a pause, while humanity is evolving faster than ever. Medics, scientists, politicians, and most importantly, the general public share everything they know against the fight of this disease. Our most pot potent weapon right now has been distance. We distance ourselves from family, from friends, and even strangers to save them. All with the goal that one day we can return to the warm hug we are eager to get. We never counted that distance could demonstrate compassion, but here we are. This human divide will define us as a species. Either we become superhuman and evolve in peace, or it can pull us apart. It will be historical unification or division for us. The world, again, is in a pause, but we are going light speed ahead. It will take all of us to make this change a change for the better. Now this video is pre-recorded, so maybe in two weeks we're changing so far, so fast that what I just said uh, has changed yet again. But I would like to keep going and teach you what has shaped me over 25 years. But for that, I will like to like recollect. I will have to recollect every single moment that has changed me. And but I'll spare you some time, and we'll tell you about four stories about life value education, love, and change. The first one is about life value and my grandmother Camille. Before she passed away, after a long battle with cancer, cancer, she called me up to her bedside and said to me, Mario, I'm going to give you my biggest treasure. As a 12 year old, I immediately thought of a treasure chest full of gold. She gives me this little box, and in it, there were these paratrooper wings. These paratrooper wings were of her brother, who died in North Africa in World War II. I am wearing them today in, her, in his honor. She said to me, Mario, there are things in life that you have to hold on most dearest. Find them and treasure them. The second story is about education and my dad, David. You see, he is my giant. I was living in Germany, finishing high school, when I called him up, uber excited that I had passed my Abitur exams and I was now eligible to enter university in Germany. This was after what I would say now was my hardest years of studies. He told me, Mario, I am as proud of you as if you would have failed. That struck me like a punch in the gut. I didn't understand where I let him down. It took me some time to realize that it is a journey that makes life. Our goals are just a glimpse. He was proud of me because of my journey, whether I won or lost. Think not only where you want to go in life, but think about the path that will get you there. It is essential. Actions are what matters, not intentions. The third story is about love, Maria. You see, Maria is from Spain and I'm from Mexico. We met 13 years ago in the mountains north of Spain in Asturias, and we fell deeply in love. But after two years of a long distance relationship, time, work, and distance took its toll. One day, we found ourselves at an airport security saying what we thought was our last goodbye. Because we could not change the geographic reality that we had. We cried, we said adios, and she went past security, only to stop just where I could see her. Run back to me, to my arms, and say, this is it, Mario. 
I don't care about anything else but you. I will quit my job, move to Mexico, so that we can know each other entirely. You see, sometimes we think that we know everything. All the answers, even in love, we believe that we possess the answers within ourselves. That day I learned that it is in others that we learn and flourish in love. And we have to trust them. And the last story is about change. When Micaela, our daughter, was born, after a complicated delivery, they put her in my arms and I felt every single molecule of my body change. Changes in life sometimes takes time, sometimes, sometimes it is immediate. You would say that when Lucas, our son, was born three years after, it was less dramatic, but no. I changed yet again, immediately. Change will happen, expect it. It is what you do after that that will say to the world who you are. What do these stories about life value, education, love, change have in common? That in life, you will have moments that will craft who you are. Some will, you, you will notice them immediately. Some will take time to learn. Always stay present. Not only wait for them to come to you, but go out them and find them. Find those moments. Have those conversations with your giants. Trust hard lessons learned. Love and find love. And hold your most dearest treasure in your arms and feel your body change immediately. In closing, I would like to tell you about my father's theory of improbability. It is most improbable that we were born, or even that we humans exist. It is very unlikely that this world has life. Yet, here we are on a sunny, windy New Hampshire day, living a fast changing world. You exist, and that single fact should make you proud of yourself. Now on top of that, you're graduating from Cardigan Mountain School. It has given you the platform to go out there and change the world, yet even more. Keep going, finish high school, find an alma mater in a college, get a good job, and grow roots somewhere in the world. Go and be who you want to be. You will always be Cardigan, and someday come back and give a speech about what you didn't learn today but the story that started today. Be honest, be humble, serve people. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mario, for sharing so much with us here this morning. Muchos gracias, mi amigo. And now, for the moment we've been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas. Geronimo Armida Alatorre. Colin Scott Atwell. Ved Bot. Dylan Biggs. Deegan Walker Blasco. Robert Kim Blank. Michael James Frazier Brannon. Gabriel 
W. Brondel. Santiago Bueno Fernandez. Jake Tyler Calvani. Diego Carandi. Wilfrido Castillo Topete. Kai Chen. Franklin Chow. Pierce Spencer Cobb. Juno Ralph Cowens. Lucas Ding. Diego Escalante. Yannick J. Gallego. Mauricio Gomez Salinas. Dylan Walter Gorman. Jayu Kevin Gu. Oscar E. Hakarainen. Zachary N. Hawthorne. Jack Hines. Ji Hyuk Hong. Logan Andreas Huter. Caden L. Hutchinson. Jason Jiang. Nate Johnson. Hiu Jung.
Salvador Rey Camar Garra. Bill K. Sujin Kim. Tayu Kim. Charles C. Knapp. Case Michael Leskowski. Hyunjun Lee. Min Suk Brian Lee. Yoon Gi Lee. Chung Han Lee. Chengza Lee Tom Cho Wai Lee Swen Yu Lee The June Lee Ji Hoon Lim Luke Forrestal Littlewitz. Cristobal Lopez Dominic William Henry Lyons Caleb Robert Vincent Macchioli Jack Milton Marshard Colapot Juan Moncavonet Kyle Murray Smith Willem Harris Naughton Sung Hoon Thomas 
O. Andrew Tristan Pallaro. Connor Lewis Pollard. Avon Quinn Pyle. William Rossier. Eric Roachford Jr. William John Sabat. Lachlan Hamill Simmers. Jaha Jeffrey Song. Bryce Terry. Aiden Caleb Feed. Karsten Patrick Veravec. Kuwei Kevin Wong. Chiangong Wong. Shu Fei Figo Wong George S. Wilkins the Fourth Cam One Wong Jaysuk Yoon. Jerry Zhang. Bo Chen Victor Ju. Please join me now in our final blessing. You may bow your heads if you wish. Father, we now entrust to your capable hands the Cardigan class of 2020. Having prepared them to be citizens of the world, we release them now. May they cast off into ever deepening waters of knowledge and skills and understanding. Open wide the gates of favor to their lives and to the lives of their families. 
Tether them to us always in heart and mind and spirit. Bless them as they go, for they will forever be our brothers. Amen. I'd like to thank Oscar for being such a great roommate and friend this year. And I also want to thank the Escalante family for everything they've done for me throughout the years. Um, I'd like to thank the Frost for last year making my transition into cardigan mid-year so much easier. Uh, and also then this year I'd like to thank the Escalantes for always being there and Mrs. Escalante for helping me with my science homework all the time. And uh, Mr. Welsh for being such a great advisor. And keeping me on track. Congratulations, Cardigan class of 2020. I'd like to take the time to thank and express my true gratitude and appreciation towards the following members of our Cardigan community that have made such a special impact on me and have helped develop me into the person I am today. My advisor, Ms. Fideli, Ms. Danielle Fideli, Mrs. Frost, Ms. Jocelyn, Mr. and Mrs. Day, Mr. Lysenring, Mr. Winnick, Mr. Novak, Mr. Jangro, Mr. and Mrs. Bayreuther, Mr. McCusker, Coach Kruzberg, Mr. Gray, Mr. Audette, Ms. Borick, Mr. Frost, Mr. Lalo, Doc Gardner, Mr. Langetig, and Mr. and Mrs. Turcott. The list could honestly go on and on, but thank you all for making my cardinal experience possible and so special. I want to say thank you to Luke Littlewitz. Uh, he's my roommate for two years and really made a huge difference in my life. Taught me a lot of different things, um, especially how to be a good roommate and a friend. I just want to say I was really lucky to be your roommate. Um, and thanks for everything you've done for me. Even though you will never get a roommate as good as me at Pomfret, hope you will enjoy your life there and you will definitely be a legend there. Cardigan class of 2020. You did things not because they were easy, but because they were hard. Congratulations. First, I'd like to say thank you to all my teachers that have helped me throughout the years. Um, you guys have helped me do a lot through all my tough times. And I'd especially like to thank Ms. Frost and Mr. and Mr. Deli for helping me when I had tough times during school and mentally, just me uh, getting accustomed to the new environment and my, my ninth grade year and my eighth grade year as well. So I'd like to thank you guys. I'd also like to thank Mr. Gardner for helping me, uh, holding me accountable um, for when I was supposed to complete homework, and he was, he, he was really good at his job, and he knew how to teach the class, and he knew how to uh, keep his composure, and he was a really good teacher, and I always, I would never forget him. During my time at Cardigan, I met people that I will never forget because of how greatly they impacted me. Mrs. Escalante is one of those people. She harvested my love for biology and was always there if I needed help with it. 
She's just a nice person in general who is a great coach and even better teacher. Thank you, Mrs. E, for being there for me, and I hope to see you in the future. Mr. Bird is also one of those people. In the years I had his class, I learned more about carpentry than I did from my dad. Mr. Bird is a determined and lively human being who cares about his students and fellow faculty. Thank you, Mr. Bird. Lastly is my advisor, Mr. Gray, who helped me persevere through tough experiences and was there to talk if I wanted. I want to thank you, Mr. Gray, for guiding me to become a better person and helping me respect the climb. Class of 2020, I just want to say congratulations. Thank you so much for all your hard work and best of luck. All right, so I've been at Cardio for three years and I really got a lot to say in terms of thank yous, but uh, you know, definitely more than just a 30 second video could, could ever express, but I um, really want to say thank you to all my teachers and friends for helping me throughout all my careers, being, um, becoming a better athlete, a better student, or even just flat out a better human being. So thank you all for staying with me for so long, and now I wish you all the best. Thank you. I would like to thank three people, Mr. Langitig, Ms. Jocelyn, and Mr. Hempel. Uh, these three people changed my experience at Cardigan, make it way better. Mr. Langitig, just a great guy, taught me, taught me a lot. Ms. Jocelyn, great on parent. Every night I would see her, she's so nice. And then Mr. Hempel, my advisor, and my dorm parent. I would see him every day, advisory, just have a really good time. He supported me, he helped me a lot. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're gonna miss you so much, but we know that you're off to do great things at your uh, secondary schools and beyond. So, good luck. I just wanna say thank you to all my teachers, coaches, dorm parents and advisors, um, and my fellow Cardigan brothers who have, uh, who have created li lifelong relationships with um, and who helped make my Cardigan experience amazing. Um, and I'm going to miss everyone next year uh, when I start fresh at a new home away from home. It was a lot of fun. Were you nervous? A little bit. What helped you not be nervous? All my friends and faculty got me through everything. What did they do that was most special? Uh, they had a positive attitude and really kept me going in classes and on the field. What happened when things get hard? I just persevere and get through it, and then all my friends will be there with me. Class of 2020, I miss you terribly. My heart is broken, but at the same time, uplifted by your awesome strength, courage, and perseverance. Thank you for being amazingly amazing. I love you. I love you. Best of luck, and above all else, be kind. For my two years in Cardigan, I want to appreciate the help from all the faculties, especially Mr. Winnick, Mr. Kenny, and Mr. Clark. Without their support, it is impossible for me to have a such enjoyable experience in this school. I will remember the lessons that they taught me and bring them with me in my future lives. I would like to thank all my teachers and peers that joined me throughout this wonderful journey. I hope I can see you all soon. Congratulations, ninth grade. We are so proud of you and all your amazing work this year. We can't wait to see what you guys do next year and beyond. This is a beautiful day on campus and this day is for you. Be sure to come back and visit this amazing place, Cardigan, which is your home always. We will miss you guys. Take good care. Hello, Cardigan community. I can't say that I'm very grateful for one, two, or just three people because at my time here at Cardigan, there's been so many people who have helped me through my journey. So I'd like to thank the faculty for helping me grow as both a student, an athlete, and overall as a person. And I'd also like to thank all of my friends who've been there to talk to me and have created all the memories that I've had on the point. Thank you all, and I'm so very grateful for all of you. I'd like to thank Mr. Gray for being an amazing role model and father figure for me to look up to throughout my time at Cardigan. Um, he's an amazing coach, teacher, and just he's a great person in general. So thank you, Mr. Gray. You've, you've made me a better person. And I'd also like to thank Coach Frost, Mrs. Frost, Coach Leisenring, Coach Nevins, Miss Jocelyn, Mr. Jangro, and all of my other teachers that have made my Cardigan experience the best it can be. So thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Whatever you are, be a good one. 
I'm grateful for Hiranuma Armida and Lalo Luhan for being great roommates. I'm also grateful for Aiden Thede for being a great best friend. I'm also grateful for Mr. Goche and Mr. Sinclair for being great people and great hockey coaches. I'm also grateful for Mr. Escalante and Ms. Mrs. Escalante for being great dorm parents in my first year at Cardian. I'm also grateful for Mr. Wilkinson for being a great advisor for the past two years. Congratulations, Cardigan Mountain School Class of 2020. We're so proud of all that you've accomplished while you're here. Please know you will always have a home on the point. We'll miss you. I'd like to thank the whole Cardigan community for being there and showing me what Cardigan was, specifically my dorm parents, teachers, faculty advisors, coaches, and anyone that has really just made Cardigan Cardigan, especially the people behind the scenes, like the dining hall staff, people in communications, and just the main office for really making Cardigan, car the, like the Cardigan experience. Uh, I'd like to specifically thank Mr. Figueredo for being there my first year as my dorm parent, advisor, and teacher, and coach, because he really showed me what the Cardigan way was, and he handled every situation level-headedly, which showed me what the Cardigan community was, and it also shaped me to become a better person and the person that I am now. I'd really like to thank um, the people that's been with me in my three years here at Cardigan, um, like some of the faculty or some even some of the gradu graduates like Tony Hutt, Tony Karandi, um, who's been great mentors to me, and I truly, truly appreciate what they've done for me um, in my three years here at Cardigan. And even some of the people that are still here, like Gabe Rondo, Dean Blasco, or um, Diego Escalante, they've really made my experience here a bliss, and I truly, truly am grateful for that. Congratulations! I would like to thank Mr. Lawson for always being somebody that I could trust whenever I needed him. I'd also like to thank my parents because they gave me the opportunity to attend Cardigan Mountain School. Thank you, nine white team faculty members, for uh, everything that you have done for us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Harness your great energy, soar, do great things, take care, and please come back to visit. I would like to thank my advisor, Mr. Jango, for helping me get through the past two years smoothly. I would also like to thank my teachers and my classmates for an amazing year. Dear Mr. Langadine, thank you for all the work that you have put in for me to become who I am today. I never thought I could experience something like this ever in my life before you reached out to me saying that I might have a chance to be a Cardigan student. Thank you for all the supports for me to get into St. Mark's and St. George's, and I hope you have a wonderful time next year with your future advisee. Thank you so much. Congratulations, class of 2020. God bless you guys. We're going to miss you. I would like to thank Mr. Holt and Ms. Murray for making my sixth grade year fun while preparing me for my next three years at Cardigan. Thank you for the ones who helped me during two years of Cardigan, and especially Mr. and Mrs. E. It was a fun year. Thank you. Class of 2020, we love you. We'll miss you. Come back to the point soon. Congratulations. Congratulations. You did it! So uh, personally, I want to thank all members of the Cardigan community for providing such a perfect environment for me to grow and excel as a student, and not just as a student, but also as a person in general. I learned so much from my peers, and I made friends that I wouldn't ever met if it wasn't the right environment that Cardigan provided. Um, and also, I want to thank all the teachers at Cardigan and faculty who ever worked here. Without you guys, uh, the cardigan wouldn't be what it, what it is and wouldn't feel like home. And uh, you guys are the, the ones who teach us the cardigan way, especially all the teachers who taught me. And also my advisors, Ms. Murray and Ms. Fideli, for guiding me uh, throughout this my whole cardigan career. So thank you guys. I wanted to say thank you to all the cardigan faculty and, and community who made me ha had a great year. I also wanted to say Thank you to my roommate Dylan, who made, who was a great roommate all year. Also to my dorm, that was the best dorm, and I had a great time with them. And also, most importantly, I want to say thank you to my parents who made this this possible. Well done, guys! Congratulations. Time has passed, but my love and passion towards this school 
has not vanished at all. I would like to thank for teachers, especially Miss Jocelyn, Mr. and Mrs. Burnett, Mr. Langty, Mrs. Phillips, Miss Brandel, Mr. Rocha, Mr. Paracorn and Mrs. Paracorn, Mr. and Mrs. Escalante for offering me great education and teaching me how to behave. Moreover, I miss all my friends, and I hope that we will meet again somewhere someday. At the end, I hope Cardigan will be a place of growing prosperity, and my Cougar brothers will have better achievements. Thank you all again for everything that you gave me. I have loved my time at Cardigan. To all my coaches and teachers, especially Ms. Frost, thank you for a life-changing experience. Mr. Leroy, from my first day at Cardigan, you have been there for me. You have supported me, taught me, advocated for me, and encouraged me to be my best self. I know that you have worked hard to, to build our relationship, and I appreciate the effort you put into my success. Coach Frost, I know how hard you've worked behind the scenes toward my success on and off the field. I appreciate your dedication, and I will make you proud. Thank you. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Well done. I really want to express my gratitude to the Ascalantes. Last year when I first got to Cardigan, um, Mr. Escalante has helped me a lot in science and, uh, and helped me to get used to Cardigan environment. And ever, th and ever this year, uh, Mrs. Escalante, as my biology teacher, has provided me a lot of help um, in, in biology. And we, al we also had a club, a bio club, which is really, really interesting. I also really want to appreciate Diego for um, being my classmate for two years and being a really great durable leader. I really enjoy having him to be my friend, one of the best friends. And then I also want to appreciate Mateo for helping me um, for, uh, on those tennis skills because last year I it was my last, first year playing tennis and he has provided me a lot of help. I really want to appreciate that. Escalantes. Hi, I just want to thank a couple of people for helping me grow and succeed while I was at Cardigan. Thank you, Leopold Dorillis, class of 20, for helping me acclimate to my dorm and my first year at Cardigan. I would also like to thank Mrs. Frost for helping me and supporting me during my ninth grade year. Thank you. We miss having you here, and we hope that you come back and visit us. Congratulations, Congratulations, class of 2020. Mr. Gucci, I appreciate your help you gave me for the last three years as an advisor and math teacher. For the first year in the cardigan, I was suffering the class, but the skill and courage that you gave me helps to succeed in the first trimester. I will never forget about you and I will wouldn't miss you. Thank you. I want to show my gratitude towards Mrs. Frost for always being there when I needed her whether it be after class or just to talk. She made my transition that much easier. Thank you, Mrs. Frost. And I cannot begin to thank you enough for being such a wonderful class. And please know that despite the fact that we aren't ending the year together, you're here with us. You're in our hearts, you're in our thoughts. We wish you all of the best and hope that you'll stay in touch with us. Be well, be safe, and know that we cared about you very much. I would really like to take this opportunity to thank Cardigan as a school, as a community, and, and all the people, uh, all the coaches, all the teachers and staff members, and my co uh, fellow Cardigan friends, and Mr. and Mrs. Day, for everything they have helped me, they have offered me, and helped me go through. Uh, there are a lot of challenges in Cardigan, and I have to say, I am really proud to say that I've graduated from Cardigan, and I've overcome the challenges with the help of these people. I want to express my appreciation to the 9 Green X class. I mean, at the acceleration level, Cardigan's academic life is very rigorous, but you guys helped me through it, and I succeeded my Cardigan 2020 life, and I really want to thank you guys. You guys made my academic, academic life super fun and super enjoyable, under all the stress and, uh, uh, and the rigorous uh, academic curriculum. I mean, all the memes in class and all the fun we had. And I really miss you guys dearly. And I hope you guys have a, have a great time next year at your next school. Thank you. Dear class of 2020, uh, I'm really fortunate because I'm one of the few teachers that gets to work with you guys, all of you guys throughout the year. And I just wanna let you know how proud I am of your entire class. 
Um, you've left a tremendous legacy behind here at Cardigan that's going to carry on for, for a long time. We miss you terribly, and please know that the Cardigan door is always open, and we really hope to see you back here again soon. I would like to thank my advisor, Miss Jocelyn, for being like a parent for me at Cardigan throughout my two years there. Uh, she helped me through anything and everything, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Miss Jocelyn. I would really just like to thank Kenny for being a great friend for me. Uh, he really helped me adjust into Cardigan, and he was a great person to talk to, fun to be around, awesome roommate. All around great guy, and I know wherever he goes, he's gonna he's gonna do great there. Just wanna be super grateful. Thank you. Well done, class of 2020. Well done. Hello, good afternoon. I would like to thank the staff, my teachers, and my classmates. But most of all, I would like to thank my advisor, who helped me throughout the year, even though when sometimes it got hard. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your year. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's been part of my life over the last four years. Faculty, staff, peers, and my friends, you've all had such a big impact on my life. I'd just like to say thank you and I hope we can see each other again. And I really hope we can stay in contact and not lose contact with each other after this. To the class of 2020, I wanna say thank you and congratulations. You're excellent stewards of the Cardigan Way and your class won't soon be forgotten. Thanks. I'm trying to give my reflections on the time at Cardigan Mountain School. So I first want to say thank you Cardi to Cardigan and Mr. Adet and his admissions team who who um who enrolled me. Um also want to thank all the faculty and brotherhood. So specifically for the faculty, they helped me to learn the life lessons. Life lessons meaning like learning from mistakes and how to go through challenges and how to be resilient. And also Brotherhood, like they supported me in heart. And because of that, I was, I was able to become a leader and I could pay back what you guys have done to me when I first got here. And it's unfortunate that class of 2020 will not be in graduation, but good luck guys. You guys are going to do good in secondary school. And also remember Cardigan. Thank you. Congratulations, Cardigan class of 2020. You'll certainly make all of us proud. All the best wishes for all of your tomorrows. I would like to thank Mr. Frost for being the best advisor and my dorm parents, Mr. E, Mr. Franco, and Mr. Langthick for making living in the dorm fun. Boys? Your time is up. The cookies are done. Congratulations, you did it. I want to thank Mr. Estridge for supporting me through my first year in Cardigan and all my E3 class for helping me out with the difficulties of living on campus. Moreover, I want to thank Mr. Wilkinson for supporting me in my mathematics and also my career in Nordic skiing. And I would like to thank Diego for establishing such a great model for me to learn from. And thank you very much. I want to give a huge shout out to the graduating class at Cardigan Mountain School 2020. Go out and do great things. We miss you. I want to thank the community, the faculty, and my family for making my experience at Cardigan the most memorable one so far. I want to especially thank Coach K for being a true mentor to me. And I will never forget Franklin House, the best dorm on campus. Go Cougars! Two people that I'm really, really thankful for in my Cardigan experience are my two roommates, Jake and Skye, because they really, like, helped me make my experience so much better at the point. It's just because if you have a roommate that you don't understand yourself with, it's going to be tough, but they both really... Like we fit each other really good, both of them, and it really helped me. To the, to the class of 2020, may our paths cross soon. Until then, have a great summer. 
Uh, hello, Mr. Langatee. I just wanted to say thank you to you for graduation and for the past three years that I, I, I was at Cardigan. Uh, I think you helped me grow as a person, like grow as a man. Uh, I, was, I know I was a really lazy student in seventh and eighth grade, but ninth grade year, I was your table leader and you always helped me every day, just like telling me to do things. And you know, uh, I think that you helped me a lot. And, and as like maturing, and like, I think I'm mature now. So like, I just really wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. You are making history and are destined for greatness. Go make your mark in this world with your characteristic compassion and zest, and then come back and tell your Cardigan family all about it. We love you. I would like to thank my fellow student leaders who worked very hard in the past year in order to make Cardigan a better place. And also, I would like to thank my fellow classmates who helped me out in every aspect of life and shared memories that I would carry out throughout my life. Here's looking at you, graduates. May your cardigan memories keep you young as you go through life. May they keep you together after you've gone your separate ways, and may they guide you through life's most difficult challenges. Thank you to Mr. and Mrs. E for being a great social support this year, and thank you to Mr. Kruzberg for being a great coach. I want to start by thanking the entire Cardigan community for being super supportive throughout my four years at this place. Coming here as a sixth grader really changed my life. And I want to thank all my friends, teachers, mentors, faculty, and all the other people that I get to know along the way. I want to let you guys know that you're the ones that make this place special. And because of you all, we're set to go. I want to tell you how much I miss you all. And I'm forever grateful for all the hard work that you guys put in. Hey boys, just wanted to congratulate you on graduating. Uh, I would have liked to have said goodbye to you guys in person, uh, but just know we'll, we'll be thinking about you and hope to see you soon. Congrats guys. I want to thank all the people that supported me while I was at Cardigan. My parents, my teachers, and my friends. Thank you. Hey boys, out here on the quad with the new puppy, Murphy. And Sunshine's still in the apartment. We miss you. Happy graduation. Class of 2020, we love you. We wish that there was a graduation tent here instead of me sitting here by myself. Uh, but go on to great things, boys. We have no doubt that you'll do it. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye. Hello, this is Tommy. I, I came to Cardigan at 2018, and I don't know whether it is a good place to go. But my feeling told me that it is a great place to study in. The first year was really hard, absolutely, but when you adapt to this environment, it will be easier. The most important reason why I make it through those years is because of the help from those teachers. Mr. Langty, Mr. Franco, Mr. Frost, and all my teachers really helped me a lot during those years. Thank you so much for putting a lot of effort on me into me and I'm really grateful for that. I really want to thank Mr. Langdi because he was my ESL teacher and he really helped me to improve my English after coming to Cardigan. He really helped me with my secondary school program overall. Thank you for all those supports on me and I wish you all have a happy summer. Congratulations on your graduation. Thank you for being part of our family this year. I wish you the best. Oh, hey boys. Hey, just want to give you a little congratulations. You got through this year. You got through those last eight weeks. Take it easy, have a good life, and do good things. Let's try it. Start her up. Perfect. You're on it. I would like to say thank you to all my teachers and the staff at Cardigan because they tell me so much, like to name a few, like Mr. Gardner, my advisor, and the Miss Fidelis. I've known them throughout my whole Cardigan career. And just all the teachers, all my teachers, current teachers, past teachers have helped me so much. And I would also like to say thank you to the fellow students and my friends at Cardigan because without them, then I would not be where I am. And they've helped me succeed so much at Cardigan and it's been a very fun time at Cardigan. Class of 2020, congratulations. Thank you guys so much for an awesome year here on The Point and good luck next year at secondary school. This putt's for you.
I really want to appreciate Cardigan Mountain School because I had a great time in Cardigan. And I want to say thank you to all of my teachers, my classmates, my dorm mates, my friends, staff members for providing us a beautiful environment. And my advisor, Mr. Burrett, for helping me every day. And Mr. Langtique for helping me get into the high school that I like. And I'll never forget you guys. Hope you good luck in the future. See you. To the class of 2020, have a safe and fun summer. Congratulations, Mr. Angeli. Hi, Mr. Turcotte. I wanted to thank you for the wonderful year at Cardigan, or the wonderful year and a half at, at Cardigan that you've given me, whether it being my math teacher or my advisor. I enjoyed them both very much. You, you've helped me a lot throughout the my entire journey at Cardigan, whether that be with advice about people or advice about fitness or advice... It's about just anything in general, and it you've being in it, your advisory has been a great time, and I've enjoyed a lot of things and it, and shared some great memories with you, Danny, Gabe, Brendan, and Gordon through out there. It's a shame that we couldn't and see each other one last time in it person before the year ends, and. Well, I do hope to see you again sometime in the future. Class of 2020, thanks so much for being such terrific and caring leaders. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. Good luck. We'll miss you, boys. I would like to take a moment to thank teachers and students who really means a lot to me in my cardigan career. First, I want to thank Hugh, Sabat, and Pai for being such a good roommate. And I, also, I want to thank my current advisor, Mr. Kenny, for being a mentor who I can really look up to and Mr. Langaty, who helped me to get to my dream school, and Ms. Lloyd, Mrs. Edson, and Mr. Franco, who makes Haywood One a better place to live in. And lastly, I'd like to thank all of my friends. It is all of you who makes my cardigan career so meaningful. Congratulations, class of 2020. You're a special group. Wear that alumni tie with pride. Well done. There have been so many teachers that have had an impact on me during my life at Cardigan. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Clark, Mr. Winnick, Mr. Kreuzberg, and especially Mr. Sinclair, and to all of the amazing friends that I've made at Cardigan. Thank you. Hey, boys, I just want to say congratulations. Best wishes to everything you're going to do in your future. Thank you for all you've done. This is not goodbye, but we'll see you again soon. Thank you. I'm thankful for the entire faculty and staff at CMS for helping me be the best. I want to thank my teachers for helping me to grow as a student and continue to love school. I want to thank all of my coaches as well. I grew so much as an athlete this year, and that is due to my great coaching. I specifically want to thank Coach Gardner because he helped me through my first year of football, and now I love it. Also, I want to thank my dorm parents for making CM my second home. Finally, I want to thank my Cardigan brothers for making CMS such a great place. Go Cougars! My past three years at Cardigan have been a life-changing experience. I did so many things and developed so many skills I never thought I would ever do. I learned priceless lessons that will impact my life forever. But most importantly, I built relationships that will last a lifetime. Looking back, I am so glad I chose Cardigan three years ago. I want to thank everyone who has made my Cardigan experience special. My friends, teachers, coaches, teammates, dorm parents, and advisors. Thank you so much.